BRICS has again shaken the world with the latest news they have given. Many countries are showing interest in joining BRICS right now. And do you really know what this means? It means that the US is soon losing its superiority. It's not that easy, but everything I'm going to explain on this video will make you understand. The truth is that many countries have been ditching the US dollar, especially in Africa. And what I can say is that BRICS is currently giving the US government sleepless nights. The US is also scared of BRICS because of the, the reasons I'm going to mention on this video. Before I even continue, in the latest update, a total of more than 45 countries are preparing to join the BRICS alliance weeks ahead of the summit. The new country that expressed interest and formally submitted its application to join the BRICS bloc is Palestine. A growing number of countries are showing discontent with the US dollar and America's control over global finances. Therefore, BRICS is making use of the dissatisfaction by convincing other countries to ditch the US dollar and trade in native currencies. BRICS is successful in convincing other countries to settle cross-border transactions in local currencies, sidelining the US dollar. Pakistan, Iran, Iraq and ASEAN countries are ditching the US dollar and looking to promote local currencies for trade. The 23 countries that have formally applied to join BRICS are Algeria, Argentina, Bangladesh, Bahrain, Belarus, Bolivia, Cuba, Egypt, Ethiopia, Honduras, Indonesia, Iran, Kazakhstan, Kuwait, Morocco, Nigeria, Palestine, Saudi Arabia, Senegal, Thailand, the United Arab Emirates, Venezuela, and Vietnam. Moreover, the development puts the US dollar at risk as more countries are willing to stop using the greenback for trade. The decision for BRICS expansion will be combinedly taken by the members at the upcoming summit in Johannesburg. BRICS is an acronym for Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. The next summit is scheduled on August 22nd to 24 in South Africa. Leaders from 69 other countries have been invited to attend the summit, revealed Ambassador Anil Suklal. The alliance is looking to dethrone the US dollar by putting their local currencies forward for global trade. Moreover, the bloc of five nations is eager to end reliance on the US dollar and is convincing other developing countries to follow suit. In addition, Russia, India and China convinced a handful of countries to settle trade in their respective native currencies and not the US dollar. And now you might be asking yourselves, why is the USA scared of BRICS? In this video, we will highlight the 10 US sectors that could be severely affected if BRICS launch their currency. And before I mention, kindly consider hitting that subscribe button because you will be supporting us. A total of 10 financial sectors in the US could be affected by the launch of a new BRICS currency. They include banking, trade and tourism, among others. The US financial sectors that could be impacted by the formation of the new BRICS currency are global financial system, international trade and investment energy and commodity markets, banking and finance travel and tourism capital markets, consumer goods and retail government and policy technology and fintech production and consumption. All these sectors are closely linked to the US dollar and operate globally with the exchange of the USD currency. Also, if BRICS convinces other developing countries to ditch the US dollar, the geopolitical dynamics could alter world trade relations. In addition, if banking and finance take the first hit, the negative development could spill over to the commodities and foreign exchange markets. Similarly, the domino effect could topple all the sectors bringing turmoil into the American economy. Moreover, if the US fails to fund its deficit, prices of all commodities could skyrocket or even reach hyperinflation. Let me conclude by saying this. The fate of the US dollar depends if the BRICS alliance will launch a new currency or not. The greenback remains at the crossroads of a shift into the new financial order, dominated by the East and not the West. I don't know what you think about this. Give us your thoughts on the comment section below.